Katya Dragotis here in Los Angeles as the Vikings take on the Chargers here at their small, intimate stadium. I'm here with Tom Moore. Tom, what can we expect to see today from Kirk Cousins? I know you had a little insight with, with uh, Fusen over there. Well, I'll tell you what's more than that. You talk about intimate park here. I will tell you, for any fan who comes here today, they're going to have great seats. Everything's a good sightseeing. This is very different in here for the Vikings. It's a little bit windy. When I talk to Joe Theismann, Joe Theismann, former Redskins quarterback, uh, Super Bowl uh, contestant, and he does the Redskins broadcast now. What he said with Kirk Cousins is when he played for the Redskins, he was the more ready quarterback than RG3. He, he stayed in the pocket. He was more comfortable as a pocket passer. He needs to do that today. He's got to watch out for Joey Bosa, as you and I talked about before. He's got to roll. And I think what the Vikings are going to do with him is they're going to do a control roll, typically to the right side. What that does is it cuts the field off and gives him two or maybe three receivers right in front of him. Easy reads. And if he doesn't have it, he can either tuck it and run or he can run out of bounds. Did Joe give you any insight onto what the key to his confidence is? Yeah, it's not a confidence thing. What it was in Washington was they didn't have a lot of talent. Okay, and that's part of what it was as well. But if Kirk gets tight, or at least his history is if he gets tight, then he starts to press. And when he presses, he overthrows balls. Okay, he really hasn't done that this year. You know, once we got past week two or three, he's tended to take the pundits down and he's, he's tossed them out and said, you know what, I can play in big games. This is a big game, even though the Chargers are five and eight. Let's talk a little defense here. We've got Phillip Rivers. He's 37, but man, can he still throw in the backfield. What did the defense have to do today to contain that and, and their deep threats? He's scary. I'll tell you what, because even at his age, you know, he's throwing for the yardage. But one thing he's doing today is he's putting more passes up to be picked off. He's gotten intercepted 15 times in the 13 games. The Viking defense has to be very strong on the pass rush. So that rotation of eight on the line has to get to him, has to rush him. Because if he gets enough time, just like any NFL quarterback, he will burn this defense. So that's the key thing for him and then the coverage has to be strong on the backside you and I have both talked about it before you want to ignore it but the Viking defense has been very very weak this year sometimes against the run sometimes against the pass I don't think the run's going to bother him today it is the pass they have to hold together and the reason for it is their scheme requires the cornerbacks to, to single cover and when they need help it breaks down the rest of the uh, of the defense so today they got to be strong in their coverages you're going to see more McKenzie Alexander in there you'll see more Mike Hughes you'll see a rotation with Xavier Rhodes when